and welcome back for your roundup of weekly news from Pro AVL Central. And there's certainly a lot to get through over the next few minutes, so please keep watching. Perhaps in response to the recent news of the postponement of the ProLight and Sound Shanghai show, Infocom China felt it would be timely to remind everyone that they were still going ahead with their annual event in October. More upbeat news followed hot on its heels with the announcement that, despite the general slowdown in activity, both the Asian Development Fund and the International Monetary Fund have predicted a strong rebound for Southeast Asia's economies in 2021, citing growth figures ranging from 4.7 to 6.2%, that's compared to 3.4% growth globally. However, on the other side of the world, things were looking less bright, with the news that the Las Vegas CES show, scheduled to take place in early January, had moved online. You have to wonder what effect that may have on NAM just two weeks afterwards in LA. Nexo proved that they didn't need a trade show, virtual or otherwise, to make a splash, launching the ID14, their smallest speaker to date, via Facebook, to a very receptive and engaged global audience. It's an ultra-compact 4-inch cabinet boasting high directivity and was joined by the IDS-108 companion subwoofer. In Dubai, Creative Technology Middle East have recently finished building a new virtual studio to facilitate the production of live events remotely, undoubtedly a worthwhile investment while social distancing restrictions remain in place. In distribution news, Exertis Australia continues adding to its growing roster of brands, with conference system specialist Tiden being the latest to join the ranks. While over in Korea, Joan Media has been appointed as the Void Acoustics distributor, who cite that a number of projects are now coming back online for them. And closer to home, Richard and Chris have been out and about this week in London, interviewing renowned audio designer Scott Wills Allen for our new Press Play series, so keep an eye out for another insightful video coming soon to a screen near you. So, that's all four corners of the globe covered with our roundup, but we can go one step further all the way out into space with news that a variety of DPA microphones have set off to Mars, where they will be used to capture the sound of the Martian atmosphere when NASA's Perseverance rover touches down there in February. And if you fancy a bit of light reading this weekend, the September-October edition of Worship AVL is now available to read online with a comprehensive mix of news, features and products to keep you up to date. That's all for this week. Stay safe, stay well and see you again next week.